My name is Josh and I'm a videographer at The Being Agency. The Being Agency is a collaborative creative agency with a team of designers, copywriters, web developers, strategists, videographers and photographers. We've teamed up with Bron Watson to bring you this. It's a series of five simple, easy to follow video tips that you can do at home to make sure you're getting the most out of your video content. Video is such an engaging marketing and communication tool, but quite often people just don't know what to do to get their content to look amazing. Creating beautiful video content doesn't have to be hard. I've got my iPhone 7 here. I'm gonna walk you through these tips to show you how you can create beautiful content just using your phone and the things you have around your home. Tip number one is all about location. Pick a well-lit, quiet location. You wanna try and find somewhere that's out of the wind or away from too much street noise. For my video, I've opted for the lunchroom here at The Being Agency. It's nice and quiet and there's lots of beautiful natural light. Tip number two is all about lighting. It doesn't matter what kind of equipment you're using, if you can nail your lighting and have beautiful lighting, you're gonna get amazing content. The easiest way to find a great light source in your house is to take out your phone, put it in selfie mode and start turning. As you can see, as I'm turning, the light on my face is changing. So just keep spinning around until you find a light source that you're happy with. Tip number three is all about makeup. It's a personal choice. You may not want to wear makeup, but the camera tends to exaggerate reflective or shiny surfaces. So I'd suggest getting yourself a matte powder. Went to Coles and I picked up this Maybelline powder for about $10. And it just helps to take away any of the shine that you may have on your face. Also when applying makeup, skin tone is really important. So try and achieve consistency between your face and your neckline when you're putting on your powder. Preparing some dot points or key talking points and putting them in front of your camera will really help for you to stay on track. This doesn't necessarily mean you need to script your full video, but just having those key talking points and information points that you'd like to hit will make sure that you stay on track and everything gets covered. One method I like to use is to print out these key points nice and clearly on a piece of paper and sticking them below the lens of the camera. Now that you've completed all of your preparation, you're ready to begin filming. First thing you wanna do is consider where you're going to be putting this content so you can alter the way it's filmed to suit this platform. If you're filming for Facebook or LinkedIn, you'll wanna shoot in a landscape orientation like this. However, if your content's for Instagram, you're better to turn your phone upright and film it in a portrait orientation. Ensure your camera is steady. A tripod is the easiest way to position a camera. Alternatively, Propping your camera up using a sturdy household item or a table or windowsill should do the trick. Last tip, bring some energy. The camera takes away about 20% of the energy you bring to it. So make sure you're using big gestures, big hand movements, big smiles to make sure your content looks as good as it can. So there you go, five really easy to follow tips that you can do at home to make sure you're getting the most out of your video content.